ladies and gentlemen, special, uh, especially invited guests. Again, we want to welcome you uh, to the second annual Caribbean Fire Art Fair. We want to welcome the folks who who went to Barbados specifically for this event. And thank you for coming out this evening to celebrate with us. I will not take up much of your time, but this evening we want to welcome uh, Minister of Culture, Stephen Lashley, who will make a few opening remarks and welcome you to Barbados. Minister Lashley. Thank you very much. The various excellencies who are here this evening, Mr. Anderson Pilgrim, Dr. Gloria Gordon, Ms. Lars Crawford, and all members of the Caribbean Fine Art Fair, Robert Esteem, sponsors, representatives, exhibitors, especially invited guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to certainly welcome all of you here this evening to what I have observed to be indeed a very inspiring and interesting exhibition. It is indeed my pleasure to address the Caribbean Fine Art Fair Barbados, which will run from March 7th, which is today, until the 11th. And I wish to first thank Mr. Anderson Pilgrim, as well as Dr. Gloria Gordon and Ms. Loris Crawford, and their team of organizers for providing me with this opportunity this evening. I must congratulate you for bringing this very interesting and dynamic fine art fair to Barbados for a second year, and I believe that you deserve an astounding round of applause for that. It is always very commendable when our Caribbean sons and daughters excel internationally and give back to their countries. And by doing so, they assist in the development of their countrymen and indeed their countrywomen. This fair offers local visual artists the opportunity to hear from persons qualified and working in the field locally regionally and internationally. Over the next few days, patrons will have the brilliant opportunity of interacting with artists such as Titania Flores, Carl Hilsewood, Hartley Aline, Loris Crawford, and Dr. Basil Spring. I take the opportunity also to congratulate you, the exhibitors. I wish to commend you for your excellent work which is displayed here this evening, and which will continue to be showcased during the coming days. We welcome and certainly salute all of you, both the established and indeed the emerging artists from Barbados, Cuba, Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, the United States Virgin Islands, Haiti, and Jamaica. And we certainly trust that the fair, and indeed our country, will both be rewarding experiences for you. As Minister with Responsibility for Culture, I also welcome this initiative as it provides us a forum for visual artists to showcase their creativity, share their work, and explore the economic potential of the art. And this evening I had an opportunity to have some discussions with various persons who were here who have identified with the economic possibilities which of course fairs such as this bring to Barbados and indeed the Caribbean. What I did say to them though that, that I don't need to be convinced about the viability of what the potential certainly is. There is a very rich potential for all of us as we look towards the creative sector to bring economic diversity to our economies. And indeed, if this could be used as an example for future fairs and future events, 
and of course to convince those who may not yet be convinced, I believe that we will certainly succeed in our sojourn going forward. The potential is there, the possibilities are numerous. And certainly not only for our locals, our visitors, our professionals, it offers another opportunity to develop an awareness and indeed an appreciation of art and indeed the artists. For all of you who will be viewing the exhibition, it also promises to be a daily fusion of the arts in which the visual art exhibition is complemented by music and by theatrical performances. In effect, therefore, you are indeed providing a forum for showcasing the arts, in which the major emphasis is on the visual arts. You're also sensitizing audiences here and indeed abroad, as well as marketing the arts and nurturing the entrepreneurial spirit. In essence, what you're doing is contributing to our creative economy and helping to, to diversify the Barbados product. For this, of course, I wish to commend you. I am happy that Barbados is being seen not only as a destination which offers sun, sea, and sand, but beyond that, a wider cultural experience. This calls for increasing levels of collaboration within and between sectors, government, the stakeholders, and the private sector. The ministries with responsibility for tourism, culture, sports, and of course the ministry with responsibility for customs will therefore be working together and with our partners in Barbados and throughout the diaspora to promote a genuine and indeed a lasting interest in culture, heritage, and sports. I know that during the exhibition, you will be considering steps necessary for converting the visual arts sector into a substantial contributor to economic activity. Each individual artist is potentially both creator and potentially both businessman and woman. Each must determine the right course he or she will pursue. And where appropriate, the entrepreneurial artist must indeed understand how to convert that creativity into a saleable business product. Happily, closing the gaps in knowledge, skill development, business development, and access to capital is certainly the aim of our cultural industries development bill. Only recently we had the opportunity of having a public consultation on this important piece of legislation. The Caribbean Fine Arts Fair is being staged at a time when my ministry is steadfastly moving forward with the development of the cultural industries and of the enabling environment offered by the Cultural Industries Development Bill. The stakeholders at our recent consultation provided vital feedback on the bill's adequacy for meeting the needs of the various subsectors. These comments will greatly enhance the bill and assist the government in shaping legislation which addresses the concerns of the entire arts sector. And indeed the bill once passed into law, and I'm hoping that this will happen sometime very soon this year, will act in my view as the cornerstone upon which this critical sector can be built and can be developed for the empowerment of all. The bill is still available for your comment. And I want to encourage you to use the opportunity to get a copy of the bill. And of course, to send your comments in. I have already said that time is of the essence. And you know that time is of the essence because you have said to me, although I have been minister with responsibility for culture only recently, you have expressed your varying frustrations and in some cases, your doubts about whether we will move forward or not. And what I've done is to smile and to say that it will happen. But it has to happen through your continued and steadfast assistance and perseverance. Because you've come so far 
but certainly not to turn back. And amidst the trials and tribulations, I believe that we are met at this point in our history and we have met at the proverbial crossroads to do one thing, that is to ensure that we can take this sector forward and that we can have the kind of confidence in our collective ability to do something that is worthwhile, not only for you, but for future generations to come. So I want to encourage you to get a copy of the bill and to provide your feedback and to let us know so that we can perfect this bill and so that I can take it to cabinet uh, very speedily. I think the cabinet is waiting on it and then from there to the problem. Copies of the bill, of course, can be obtained from the Division of Culture and Sports at our Warren's office, the National Culture Foundation, the branch libraries across Barbados, and of course, for those of you who are who are internet savvy, you can also get it from the Government Information Service website, and of course, you can send your comments in to us. There are still opportunities, of course, to influence the content of the bill. In closing, therefore, I wish again to profoundly congratulate the organizers of this exhibition. And I want to um, say to you that you have the full support of the Ministry with Responsibility for Culture and indeed the Government of Barbados in coming again. I hope that we can move beyond making this only an annual event and that we can have it on a monthly basis. <laughs> I, I hope that that snigger does not say that you doubt that this can happen. But yes, we can have it on a monthly basis. Uh, I have been told this evening that we need to generate as much activity in Barbados as possible. So, if we can have it on a monthly basis, it means that we can do more, right? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Usually, there's a time in my speech when I, when I ask for interactive responses. <laughs> but it is important that we see this as a beginning. And if we aim to make Barbados the mecca for the cultural industries in the Caribbean, so that we invite persons to display their art from all over the world in Barbados, and we encourage our own local artists to assert themselves and also to gain much needed business through the selling of their uh, products. Then in fact what we can do is to generate that much needed foreign exchange. I believe many of us are still caught in our traditional modes of believing that our traditional products will do it for us. I believe that we have a valuable and valuable opportunity through the creative sector to generate the foreign exchange that we need to propel our economy. I'll be making that statement again next week when we debate the estimates in, the, in Parliament because I also need to make sure that our parliamentary colleagues can understand that this is the way forward for Barbados. So let me also thank the sponsors, particularly the Barbados Tourism Authority and Intimate Hotels Groups and who have recognized the importance of cultural events such as these and who have generously supported the fair. I also would like to take the opportunity to encourage other potential sponsors to see this as a means of investment and to come, aboard, come on board and support future events. I urge all of you to enjoy the fair and do make a special effort to purchase one, two, three, or even four of the exhibit display. So you can walk with your credit cards. Those of you who prefer not to walk with credit cards, you can pull your wallet. Or you can just um, or you can just come with the hard cash and buy these very picturesque and um, very, very attractive exhibits which we have and support our artists. It is now my pleasure to declare this Caribbean Fine Arts Fair, Barbados, officially open. I thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Minister Lashley.
I have one of these every month. So how, how does that stop you? Yeah, it's it's all right. it's that means I get to come to my race. That's, that sounds like a good thing. Anyway, moving right along, um, I want to, before I uh, introduce the tonight's on ring, I want to again thank all of the artists uh, who are participating in this event. You are all pioneers. You will, you will benefit from this in years and years to come. We want to thank all of our sponsors, every one of you who are here, the representatives are here, the, uh, the Nation Newspaper, Virgin Atlantic, the Parking, Intimate Hotels, they were all mentioned, the Barbados Tourism Authority, uh, the Ministry of Culture, the National Cultural Foundation. We look forward to working with you uh, years uh, into the future. Um, don't let me forget Lush Life, uh, the Neat Eat Restaurant, uh, and Tom Hanks, who has always been supportive of, of our efforts. Uh, Charles, Charles Goddard Designs, uh, who is, you know, he has put himself on the life of me from the beginning of this event. And my partners in this endeavor, thank you very much for your support. Um, I just want now to present the Caribbean Luminary of the Arts Award uh, to this year's honoree, Ras Akem Ayramzi. Before I read the dedication, I just want to say one thing. Awards in the fine arts are not what they are in some of the other artistic endeavors. Music, uh, for one, comes to mind. And we hope in the future that we can partner with one of our sponsors or one of the corporate uh, entities who we have not engaged as yet to make this award a more meaningful contribution to the artist who receives it and to his uh, future in the arts. Now, let us bring Ras Akem Iran to the stage. Before I present this award, I would just want to read a, a small dedication uh, Caribbean Luminary of the Arts Award to Ras Akemai Ramsey for your substantial and provocative production of fine art over four decades, for your dedication to quality in the arts and your inspiration to many of our leaders and across the Caribbean. We salute you this seventh day of March 2012 from the directors, Caribbean Fine Art Fair Barbados. Rest again, I want to Thank you. 
of this direction. Thank you very much, everyone. Enjoy the show. And a reminder that all of the works you see around you are available for sale. If you have a question, just ask me. Or any of the artists, they're all here. Thank you.